There's a wealth of robot vacuums on the market these days to choose from. Whether you want the simplest vacuum only or you want an entire floor cleaning system, companies are responding with a multitude of options. The latest product under the floor cleaning system banner is the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra with automatic empty wash fill dock. This bot is a dual purpose vacuum and mop that can also clean and maintain itself. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and I recently had a chance to spend a few weeks with this new self-cleaning robot vacuum and mop. And in this review, I'll tell you what it's like to set up and use, how well it cleans, and about the special features it has, plus if I think it's a good pick for your home. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there gets to watch, enjoy, and learn from. Getting the Roborock S7 Max-V Ultra system set up was actually quite easy. Though the package is huge and there seem to be a lot of parts and pieces, everything goes together intuitively and it's easy to get things set up. Let's take a quick look at the parts. There is the base station and then the robot unit itself. With the base station, there are three receptacles. One holds a sealed vacuum bag for emptying the robot's onboard dustbin. The other is a fresh water tank and the third holds dirty water from cleaning the mop. After unpacking everything and plugging it in, you'll simply fill the fresh water tank and there's already a vacuum bag installed for you. Next, it's on to getting the robot connected to your home's Wi-Fi. For this, you need the Roborock app where you'll sign into or sign up for an account. Getting things paired just takes a few clicks and includes entering your home Wi-Fi password. In under five minutes, your robot will be ready to clean. Robot vacuum manufacturers have been making small strides in the last couple of years, trying to make their devices look less utilitarian and more homey. Sadly, I don't think Roborock is embracing that viewpoint. This robot and docking station are definitely more techy and basic, though it does seem obvious Roborock has done its best to make things as streamlined as possible. The base station does take up a very large footprint, which, given all that's going on inside the base station, is probably not surprising. The footprint of the full device when docked measures about 19 inches deep by 19 high by 16 inches wide, and you will definitely need to find a dedicated space for placement where the bot also has enough space to back out of its garage easily easily. You'll also need access to a plug. Let's get to the cleaning. When I test out a robot vacuum, I put all the bots in my home through the same paces. I'll spill flour, sugar, rice, or oats, crackers, similar things on both carpet and hard floors. When, like this one, they're also mops, I'll also spill milk or wine or whatever just to see what they do. Though I should note that these bots, like the Roborock S7 Max-V Ultra here, are not designed to sop up large or wet spills. These are not shop vacs. They are simply designed to give your floors a light wipe to keep dust and dirt down. I could not have been more impressed with the cleaning power of this robot. The bot was able to clean all types of debris from hard floors, and the addition of a mopping pad helps keep any lingering dust at bay. With small spills, again, this is not designed to vacuum them up, but to wipe them up with a damp mop. It did kind of smear them a bit, but in subsequent passes, it wiped up every last drop. On carpets, the spot didn't fare quite as well. The bot tended to scatter some types of debris and it wasn't able to get finer flour out of the fibers as well. But for my day-to-day -day cleaning of pet hair and general upkeep, it did work quite well. Roborock vacuums have become one of my favorites because of their almost heroic ability to avoid obstacles and keep from getting stuck. Though my robot had to navigate some fairly tall flooring transitions, plus things like rugs and mats, getting stuck was not a concern with this vacuum. Of all the brands I've tried over the last few years, I'd say with confidence that Roborocks get stuck the least of any brand. And we'll talk about why in just a moment. When it comes to the self-cleaning, with many robot vacuums, you absolutely need to empty their onboard dustbin and or refill their mopping tanks at least once a day. While it's not a big deal, some think it's a dirty chore and would rather not have to do so much maintenance. Enter the Roborock Empty Wash Fill Dock. When the S7 Max-V Ultra is finished with its cleaning, it will always return to the dock for recharging. While it's there, the empty wash fill base station will also evacuate the vacuum's onboard dustbin into the sealed vacuum bag. It'll refill the mop's onboard water tank and then run a cleaning cycle on the mopping pad. 
Initially, I was a little skeptical that this cleaning cycle was doing much of anything. Because it's happening inside the base station and underneath the bot, there's really nothing you can see that would demonstrate its cleaning process. Inside the station, though, you can see the little mechanism that does the work. I also found an animation that shows you kind of what's going on. An arm of some kind is rolling around underneath and squeezing the dirty water from the pad, then sucking up that dirty water into the bin for disposal later. The proof is in the dirty water tank. When I emptied it, the water was brown, dirty, and kind of smelly, so something is definitely getting getting cleaned under there. Since the onboard water tank for the mop is actually quite small, the huge tank in the base station is a great way to keep it full. And in my testing, it took about two weeks of semi-regular use for that big tank to need a refill. You can actually hear it gurgling away during cleaning and refilling. And a full cleaning cycle of the mopping pad, by the way, takes about three and a half minutes. In short, I feel like the empty wash fill dock is a great feature of this robot that cuts way down on the amount of emptying, refilling, and maintenance that you need to do. One question that usually comes up with dual robot vacuum and mopping units is, don't they soak the carpets and the rugs with water? The answer with this robot is not at all. This has a very unique system called Vibra Rise that's able to lift the mopping plate off the floor when it detects carpet and drop it back down onto the floors. The effect is subtle but noticeable. Did you catch it? I'll slow things down. The plate clears most carpets by a few millimeters and means your carpets never get even the least bit damp. This technology works really well and it is impressively successful. The Roborock S7 Max-V Ultra also has a camera built into the robot, a structured light 3D scanner, as well as LiDAR for navigation. Now all that sounds fancy, but what does it mean? Using a combination of the camera's eye, light sensors, and lasers, it's better able to see its way around your home and to navigate obstacles like boxes or packages and steer clear of fallen cords, socks, and the like in the day and in darker conditions. Some of the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra's other features won't come as a surprise to anyone who's had their eye on a robot vacuum or mop. Using the Roborock app, it's possible to create rooms and zones in your house so you can schedule room by room cleaning. When the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra first heads out, it will use all its technology and visualization to draw a map of your home, which is saved in the Roborock app. With the map completed, which happens within the first outing, you can then go in and delineate rooms and label them. This will allow you to set cleaning schedules to have certain rooms vacuumed on set days or to do a daily sweep and wipe of your hallways, for example. The app is very easy to navigate and really easy to figure out how to manage your rooms. Similar to naming your rooms, you can create specific cleaning zones in your house inside the Roborock app. Now, zones differ from rooms in that they are movable areas that allow you to focus cleaning on a particular area within a room. You could also probably call this spot cleaning, but you get to choose where it goes. One example of this would be creating an area for the busy work triangle in your kitchen or the high traffic area around the front door. You can link your Roborock app to either Google or Alexa and even set up commands for Siri for hands-free voice control. You can say things like, hey, A-Lady, clean the kitchen or OK, G, wash the hallways and your bot will head right out for its mission. Now, depending on which assistant you want to use, there are different methods of setup, which I'm not going to take time with here. Needless to say, though, I had my bot connected to the Google Assistant in minutes and was easily able to ask it to clean. The robot is able to adjust both the vacuum suction power, and you get four levels from quiet to max for that, and you can adjust the mopping scrubbing intensity. There's three levels from mild to intense. It's possible to use your robot as a mobile security camera around the house. Now, doing this requires a few steps, and this is designed to maximize privacy and security uh, that you might be concerned with having a mobile camera in your house. You'll need to press physical Remote buttons on the robot off. here in order to make this happen. Then you'll be able to access the camera inside the app, and you can drive the robot anywhere to take a look. I guess this is a nice backup security system or a way to keep an eye on your pets. The camera is actually quite high quality and you can drop a pin anywhere on your map and the bot will go there automatically. As a bit of a privacy alert, the bot will announce that remote viewing is active the whole time the camera is being accessed. Remote viewing active. Overall, this is a fun, capable and handy new robot floor cleaning system that I didn't know I needed. 
It addresses some of the hassles of robot vacuum ownership. Key among them is forgetting to empty the dustbin, fill the water tank, or wash the mopping pad. The tanks here are large and they give you lots of cleaning time before you need to tend to them. The mop cleaning actually seems to work quite well and the robot does seem to stay quite tidy. When it comes to overall cleaning power, the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra is super capable as a vacuum and it's easily able to keep my floors clean between regular vacuuming. I also love that the mopping and the vacuum and the suction are adjustable. The mopping, while not a substitute for a full floor mop, does help keep dust, dirty dog paw prints, and light dirt at bay. Downsides? This unit does take up a ton of floor space, and some folks may find it challenging to situate it where it's got proper access to and from the base station, and you also need a plug nearby. The bot also struggled a bit with dedicated spills on carpet. While not a downside per se, this unit is probably understandably pricier than a basic robot vacuum. Now my review period happened before the public launch, so I don't have any current pricing. But overall, if you want a dual purpose robot vacuum and mop with all the basics and a host of special features too that can clean and maintain itself, I can definitely recommend the Roborock S7 Max-V Ultra. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about here, you can head over to techgadgetscanada.com for a full write-up. There you can ask any questions you have about this system. You can also post them here in comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.